here today and you're saying what do you mean it's cold well the gang and i have taken the kickback and patio bar on a road trip to alaska yeah the last frontier so yeah it was quite a hassle the paco was saying oh no no i don't like no cold no cold for me and of course i had to rustle up some uh, winter wear for the gang and penelope saying oh it's got to match my wardrobe well, i think we did pretty good we got you all set up here and then Pedro going, you know, what, what are we going to Alaska for? I said, well, we might be going to see you, some relatives of yours. And he goes, what? Nah, they might be third or fourth cousins, second removed, but uh, they're no relatives of mine. And of course, Pepe here is just saying, it's cold, so we need to get a little, little shop going here. So that's what we're doing here today. We are taking you back in time. To 1987 we're at the peanut farm bar in Anchorage Alaska and it's got a great little story here because it was the middle of the week in December of course it was cold and chilly and this lady walked into this empty bar and it was about she was about 70 years old and I'm thinking she might be my heroine I don't know but she sat down to the bar and she was there with the bartender there Mr. Schmidt there and said give me a shot of tequila now, I was going to try to replicate the story, but I think I would have not been able to finish the show if I had to uh, replicate it. So she had a shot of tequila. Give me a B-52. She had a B-52. Give me a grasshopper. Got a grasshopper. And then they just started experimenting with some drinks and putting things together. And then the guy finally put a shot of te te uh, Kahlua there. And he added some Baileys. And then the lady goes... Ah, throw some whiskey on there. Give me some Crown Royal, which is the whiskey of Canada there. I threw that on. She went and took the shot. After she took the shot, she went... <laughs> and for some reason, the dude at the bar, while he was doing all this, had a duck beak on, just because he was bored. And the sound she made sounded like a fart. So they called it the duck fart drink. So this is where we get the duck fart drink. It comes from Alaska. It took off and was promoted by some different uh, companies and it's to become the drink of Alaska. And just like the Mai Tai is for Hawaii and the margaritas for Mexico, this is the drink of Alaska. And I know some of you have had that before. I know I have some friends that like the duck fart. In fact, Karen, Donna, and Linda, shout out to you. It's one of your shots you like for me to make. And then Donna Stump and I actually had it at the uh, Red Dog Saloon in Juno. So, duck fart. Here we go. Simple. As I already talked about, we have our ingredients. The clue I already put in. We need Bailey. And I don't have any Crown Royal, so I got my Jameson from yesterday. So I guess it's going to be an Irish farting duck. I said that right. I didn't say it right the other time. An Irish farting duck. We'll go with that. So, it is supposed to be a layered. It doesn't always come out correctly. So, we will give it a shot here. Get my Baileys on top of my Kahlua. It's yeah, looking pretty good. Some of you might even recognize this song here. If you watch The Last Frontier, Alaska Front, Last Frontier. And I think this is a drink that can warm you up at any time if you need it. Well, not too bad a layering there. I don't know if you can see that. But that's what we got here. We have our duck tart. My Irish duck tart. And cheers to everybody if you've never had a duck tart. Don't wait to go to Alaska, but if you do go to Alaska, I would hope you've already tried one because it is the state drink of Alaska. So here's to all those wild frontier people in Alaska and the great times that you can have on a trip when you can go again. Duck Park. There you go. That's a good one. Like I said, anything with Bailey's is going to be good. We throw in those other ingredients, we got a good time. But. 
the gang here. They said it's too cold in Alaska and we need to get back to Florida, even though they like their new wardrobe and stuff. Hope you enjoyed our little quick trip to Alaska. It's a great place to go. Have a duck party if you go. Make one yourself. Have a great day.